Hey guys, James Kemp again for jameskemppuppets.com. That's the website where you can check out all of my cool puppet building stuff. You can see my performance reel, you can see a gallery of my work, and you can check out my blog where I talk about uh, the different projects in a little more depth. Uh, and if you're not following the James Kemp Puppets Instagram page, please go give it a follow. Uh, and you can see kind of more uh, on the daily what I'm up to and, and cool little bits that I post and that kind of thing. So, uh, what I want to show off today is this really cool fox character uh, that I've been working on um, for a little while now. Um, there was no hard deadline on this project, so it kind of kept getting pushed back a little bit, uh, which is great. It's great when you have clients who are that flexible. You know, certainly if there's a deadline, that has to come first. Um, but it's great when you get flexible jobs. So anyway, uh, here's this really cool Fox character. Um, really, I wasn't given any design cues or anything like that. All <laughs> I was told really was that he had to have a green scarf. And if you'll notice, he does have his signature green scarf. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, yes. <clears throat> yeah, he's a really cool character. This is kind of one of the first times I'm getting to, to see him on camera like that. And I don't know if you can tell because it is so subtle, uh, but his eyes are not solid white. They've been flecked. Let me see if I can get that to focus. They've been flecked with a little bit of blue. Uh, and the, the, the reason you would do that, I talked about it, on that James Kemp Puppets Instagram page, the reason you would do that is so that they do not um, blow out the camera. Um, some older cameras have, have problems with that, so you certainly don't want to run into that. So, uh, anyway, here's this really cool fox puppet, and of course, what fo I love his arms. I love his arms, and there's a, there's a great elbow joint in there. Yeah, it's really cool. Green scarf. Um, so, so uh, of course, he's a fox, he has a tail. Uh, this tail is really cool. It's also really sturdy, but it can be uh, rotated and posed. Um, <clears throat> I like this little black uh, bit of lip liner that I put in there. It's kind of cute. It's kind of foxy. Uh, this is really neat. Um, I styled his hair with a little bit of Elmer's glue. I even styled his ears with a little bit of Elmer's glue. And, of course, that little um, patch on the top and his cheeks. It just adds a lot uh, of extra character to the, to, the, to the look, to the puppet. So, anyway... Um, that is the cool fox puppet I've been working on. And, uh, <clears throat> just to give you another little turnabout. <sighs> so, anyway, uh, that is what is going on in my workshop. This guy is headed out tomorrow. And, uh... I'm going to be posting again uh, later this week and early next week about some other really cool projects I have going on. Uh, right now I'm working on uh, some puppets for the Kids on the Block organization. Uh, actually, two chapters of the Kids, or Kids on the Block organization. And um, I'm also working on, uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek, uh, I'm also working on this, this dog. Uh, his name is Coolio. He is for... Uh, uh, a collaboration with Sublime Media Group uh, and this really cool uh, heating and air place out of Florida, out of Orlando. And uh, anyway, here is his uh, kind of rough head shape. Now, it's good to note that the chin, uh, or rather this, this lower jaw, and even the upper jaw to some extent, uh, will change once there's a, a mouth plate in there. So anyway, it's a great shape. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So, tune in to see more about that and more about the Kids on the Block Puppets. Uh, and until next time.